Okay, here hey. we are, guys. No, I've got this. <laughs> Welcome. I hate you. Welcome back. Uh, anytime you're going to be out doing a tailgate, uh, some of these games are in the morning, which can really be hard when you want to do chili, hot dogs, and brats, no. anything that's going to have a lot of meat. What we suggest is doing a breakfast in the tailgate in the parking lot. I want. And I'm going to show you guys how to do breakfast. homemade biscuits and gravy. Okay. And we're going to start with our gravy right here right now. What I've done was I threw one pound of sausage in here. You can use whatever flavor sausage. This is a spicy sausage that I'm using. And I've already got it nice and cooked up. As soon as you get to this point, after it's already brown, what you want to do is you want to take some gravy flour. Just a little bit of gravy flour and then sprinkle that in there a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more that's good all right now i'm gonna take some chicken broth that's nice. okay okay I'll take some chicken broth i'm gonna fill it up probably about to that point okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for this to boil a little bit sure, add a little bit more well. flour we're gonna let it thicken up just enough but it's gonna take a couple minutes for that to thicken up on a high heat here and this flour right here, this gravy flour, is nice and thin, so it's not going to lump up on you if you if you lightly sprinkle it in. Okay, keep stirring. And then what's going to happen is we're going to turn this up just a hair. This is going to come to a boil, and it's going to thicken up. And we want it to thicken up just enough that we can start adding some milk. And then we're going to let it boil for a little bit more, and it's going to make a nice gravy. Now, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning just for a little extra flavor. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper. Mike, can you grab the salt and pepper? Oh, yeah. Let me do something. There you go. Be. There you go. Just make yourself useful. It's like you know, Max Tailgate just, DVD just, with just, uh, just Mike Feynman and the, way, uh, the salt like, and pepper boy. You're like, you're like in stop the way. Stop talking over you're, me. You're, 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 you're Other people can way. talk too, in Pat. The way. Okay? No, no, you can't talk. Other people should no, talk, you, especially you if they're more talented it's what than happens. you. happens. You offend. All right. Okay, you see how nice and thick that's coming right now? Kind of like your neck. All right. Nice and fat and thick. Okay, oh, good. Yeah. So it's starting to gravy up a little bit. Yeah, nice. Just gravy up just enough, and then we'll maybe add just a little bit more flour. Probably a little bit more, not too much more though. There we go. Nice. Okay. That's gonna thicken up good. Oh yeah. Now that should take a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes, and then we're gonna just add the milk, and then we're gonna let it sit, and we're gonna let it uh, all come together and thicken up with the milk, and we'll show you that process. We'll next. be back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Breakfast. A good breakfast kiss. So our gravy has thickened up perfectly. It looks good. Now, Pat, how much milk are we going to add to this? Uh, we're going to probably put about a cup to start with. Okay. And we're going to see where we're going to sit right there. There we go. All right, that's nice. Now, this is going to heat up a little bit. It's going to start to reduce and thicken up like the gravy did. And uh, and then what do we need? A little more salt and pepper or are we good? Um, I think maybe just a little more salt and pepper. Okay. Yeah, I like my uh, gravy with a little pepper. I like, I like a little spice in there. Yeah. And, uh, now, of course, when you're serving up for a large group in your tailgate, you're going to want to double this recipe. You're going to want to make extra. But for right now, uh, for the amount of people that we have here today, I think this is going to work out just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that come to a nice, slow, medium boil. Just let it come together, and we'll come back, and we're going to check on it then. Like three, five, three to five minutes? Absolutely. All right, we'll see you soon, guys. Okay, so we have our regular biscuits right here. We're going to pop them open. Okay. Okay. And I just spread take them. a regular pie tin. Just a regular pie tin. I'm going to spray it so our biscuits don't stick. And then what we do is just space them out. You can load them up too, so we can get a lot. So we want to feed a lot of people. Okay, that works. Okay. Okay, just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Dutch oven now. You notice that uh, we have a pie tin. We have there. a pie tin, upside down pie tin. Whenever you're going to be cooking any kind of breads or any kind of biscuits, you want to have them lifted. So turn your pie tin upside down and then put the other pie tin on top of that so it's lifted and there's a space. Otherwise, your biscuits are going to cook too fast on the bottom and they're going to burn. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to place the lid back on top and when we do our Dutch oven, we're going to put the coals on the bottom and then the coals on the top. Make sure you're around the edge and around the edge on the bottom because you don't want to put anything directly underneath because that's going to burn it. So what you want to do is edge it both top and bottom and then we're going to cook this for about 25 minutes. We're going to keep a close eye on it and we'll be right back. It's awesome. Who's hungry? It's just awesome. It really does look good. All right, folks, we're back. The biscuits are completely cooked. Let's give it a shot. All Open right, you ready to take a look at this? Oh, oh my. Yeah. Gosh. Look at that. All right, let's take these out. All right. Ooh, they're hot. They're hot. Let's plate them up, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's make sure each one gets a nice biscuit. We'll split it open. Ooh, look at that steam. It's just coming out. 
Split it open so you can run the gravy right across the top. Ah, hot. Burn my hands. Perfect. I love right. it when you burn yourself. I do too. Makes me feel good. God, I love food. I love food more than I like you, Pat. Look That's that. a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm. Now that's a morning tailgate recipe Good right eating there. Right there. Nothing better than uh, a little breakfast in the morning. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> hey, pig, can you hand me a spoon? Mm. Slob. Ooh. You're sick. Mm.